Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Springfield Armory Hellcat. Recently introduced on the 25th of September, Springfield announced that they were going to produce the Hellcat, a subcompact 9mm handgun. Very small, very lightweight, but a capacity of 11 rounds in this current magazine, plus one is 12 rounds in this small little handgun. A concealed carry gun that has good capacity, real good capacity. Springfield says that it is the smallest gun with the highest capacity in the industry. 11 rounds in that magazine and 13 rounds in this magazine. Now when you insert this, you get full three finger contact on the grip and it gives you the full size feel in a small and lightweight handgun. Three inch barrel. And there's the 13 round. Now this uh, 11 round mag also comes with an extended base plate to get a little more grip on the gun But I think most people are going to use this 11 rounder because it just makes the gun its smallest configuration as possible But check out this grip everywhere your hand grips it has this stippling now Springfield Armory is calling it an adaptive grip texturing they're, they're claiming that the the stipples are of different heights I don't know that you know i'd have to get a microscope to check that out but i will say it's not overly aggressive but enough to get a good solid grip on the gun they have it here where the thumb rests around the grip where your, your fingers grip and also on this memory pad here for the weak side thumb along with the opposite side where your finger rests so it, it, it's a nice texturing it's it, like i said it, i don't think it'll irritate the skin with the uh, inside the waistband holster and uh, that's a, a nice touch as well. It does have a U-dot sight system. Now, I haven't seen this before, but it, it tends to work really well. I mean, when it's got a, uh, let's start here. Tritium front dot night sight, all right? So that's a nice touch and a U in the back. So you just fill that uh, circled tritium dot in the U and it seems to align very nice. And so that's something I haven't seen before, but I do like that. Now, they also offer another model called OSP, and that stands for Optical Sight Pistol, right? Where you can add a, a optic here, and a lot of people like that. This is the standard uh, Hellcat that is has an MSRP of $569. The OSP model is $599. Not a great difference there if you like a red dot. It's offered in this model. I, I like that site right there, and this will suit me just fine. Another thing that's interesting is that the rear serrations go all the way on top of the slide and back down and across. All right, now I haven't thought much about that, but I do know that many people get their, their slides customized, and they, they do like that for various reasons. You know, you could charge the gun off a boot, you could charge it off a belt, and so forth. It does have a ledge on the rear sight, which is metal, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. Metal sights. And so that, there's not a downside to adding serrations all the way around. Also has front serrations for the press checks and a rail that you can put an accessory on. The trigger, I find, is very nice. I measure it at five pounds it's a flat face trigger it really doesn't look flat face it does have a trigger bar safety in there but when you push that safety in from there now you can see it looks like a flat face trigger but let's go ahead and drop the mag and check this out we have an unloaded firearm trigger bar safety like you just right there and you feel the wall no over travel at all and that's it like i said i measure it five and a half pounds sometimes you know a little less sometimes a little more but by and large that is the average there is the reset very audible tactical reset right there for the springfield hellcat now let's not kid ourselves springfield was going directly after that ccw market that fell in love with the sig sour p365 so we have that out out here we're going to do a quick comparison here's the p365 here is the springfield armory hellcat we can first take a look at the slide length, all right, we'll take a look at it from this perspective and see that it's very similar, maybe just a, just a hair longer with the Springfield and then the grip, let me get my thumb out of the way there, and we can see that the grip is pretty similar, maybe just a hair wider with 
the Springfield once again. Now we can see that the grip is wider from this point of view. All right, and then if we look at the height, we will see that I, I think they're pretty similar. Like I, there's no great difference. I heard other people with different opinions, but you look at that and that is pretty, you can tell that it's pretty close in height. Now I want to get the unloaded weight because the advantage here with the Springfield is the additional round over the 365. But let's check out the weight because it looks just a little bit longer. And here we have one pound, two and a quarter ounce. We move that to just ounces, 18 and a quarter ounce. So you'd think that with 18 and a quarter ounces, this would be a little bit heavier. Here we have the 365. We'll go ahead and show clear there. All right, no rounds in the magazine. Both are unloaded, 18 and 5 eighths. So All right, let's get the loaded weight using 11 rounds of Remington Golden Saber Black Belt, 124 grain, jacketed hollow point nine millimeter here is the loaded weight 23 ounces even here's your round in the chamber with 12 rounds the hellcat is weighing in loaded at 23 and a half ounces so that is definitely in the ccw comfort range for those who carry a gun every day a couple other things that i like about the gun the trigger guard does have an undercut right there to get a nice high grip coupled with the beaver tail which makes it nice the grip feels really comfortable i, I do like that a lot and then it also has a sight hole indicator for the loaded brass you'll see the engraving on top of the slide consistent with many of the xd models that springfield armory offers but let's go ahead and check out the internals here we'll lock the slide back we'll move the ammo out of the way and lift this lever raise this lever up and then drop the slide and pull the trigger and off comes the slide there's what we're looking at with our polymer frame all right and then here is a captured a dual recoil spring that is captured all right guide rod and the three inch barrel hammer forged barrel by the way and that's what we're looking at in the slide so i think springfield achieved their goal by going head to head with the p365 offering higher capacity offering a, a firearm that is made for ccw i think they did an amazing job it feels really nice it looks really nice they have great capacity and from all indications this would make an excellent CCW gun with 12 rounds in, the, in that small magazine in this configuration. Very lightweight. It has many positive features. I think is going to be a big hit. And they priced it under $600. I think I mentioned $569. The MSRP, we'll see what the local gun store charges for it. But I'm going to take this to the range. So look forward to a range review shortly. And a couple other things. I think this will compare well with other firearms out there i've got some good plans here i plan to have a lot of fun and bring you guys with me if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe